people in the USA who still display a Confederate flag, why? My friend once went on a date with a dude who had a Confederate flag at his house and she got really offended over it. After the date she asked him why he had that flag. He is British, it was a British flag. Came here to see comments from 100 people who do not display a Confederate flag and was not disappointed. This is Reddit. No one who flies a Confederate flag is going to answer you here. I no longer do. As a kid I did because of the Dukes of Hazard. Even in high school it was a thing. And you'd as likely see a black guy driving a truck with a Confederate flat, also. Knew a guy who was born in Russia but raised in the South. Had a Confederate belt buckle and a Soviet flag tattoo. Either he was trying to piss absolutely everyone off or he was very oblivious. Edit I don't want to make him out like he was some kind of openly pro-totalitarianism guy. He was pretty chill. Good with animals. Wanted to be a helicopter lineman. But we didn't talk a lot about politics. My old landlord has a Confederate flag bumper sticker on his truck right above a fuck Trump sticker, which is all the more weird because we lived on Vancouver Island in Canada, old bikers are weird. My wife's father flew it in front of his house hoping people would see it and leave him alone. Instead it attracted the assholes and crazies to the house. How else is my souped-up Dodge Charger gonna jump that ravine to escape the clutches of Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane? I've lived in the South for most of my life, there are only two reasons I've seen around here which surprisingly aren't super racist. One, people in the South are very proud of their Southern heritage and the Confederate flag is the only flag that is uniquely Southern, or two, they love when people get upset with them for flying it so they fly it like an annoying little sibling just because they know it's controversial. I have a Hot Wheels General Lee car and Boss Hogg's car. The General Lee has a flag on the roof. Just like I had a Knight Rider car. I own it because someone gave it to me, probably my mom. No more thought was put onto it than that. On the outside my neighbor is the stereotypical flag bearer shaved head white dude, handlebar mustache, works on his muscle cars, goes hunting. He's also the nicest guy to all races of people on our street. He's also in Canada. I finally coughed up enough courage to ask him about his flag in his garage. He said he identifies with the southern US culture minus the racism and slaves part. Like can I put up a Nazi flag because I respect their effective army and motivational speeches, minus the Holocaust part? I grew up in the South and saw the Confederate flag quite often, and a lot of people display it as a must symbol of the South more than anything because of decades of revisionist history. It was funny to meet the nicest, most welcoming people in the world and then see a rebel flag in their backyard. Side note After the Civil War, some Confederates moved to Brazil and founded a village called Santa Barbara de Oeste. If you go down there, the Confederate flag is everywhere much like we do here in America. They do reenactments, have memorials, and still preach some of the beliefs of the Confederacy. What's even funnier is that the Confeds never recognized that flag a national flag. It's a recreation of a battle flag, which was originally square shaped. Don't own one, and not American. But my friend's father has a Confederate flag on full display in his living room in view of the window to the street. Least to say, gave me whiplash seeing that flag considering we're literally in Australia Tasmania. They are just racist. I would particularly like to know why people in the North have them. My brother once said something along the lines of the South rising again and I had to remind him he was born in Pittsburgh. Fucking moron. My mom tells me she flies it because it's part of the USA's history and it's important to remember the fallen soldiers who lost their lives in our civil war. She's also racist. So I doubt that. Some people see it as a symbol of racism and slavery. Others see it as a symbol Southern pride and heritage. Still others see it as a way to symbolize Southern pride and heritage while trying to hide the fact they are racists. Those seem to be the big three. I've seen Canadians with it. I'm pretty sure they are just blatantly racist cause it's definitely not Southern pride heritage. Legit answer here. 
I couldn't care less about anything related to the Confederate flag. However, it is everywhere in my part of the country. The people that I know who still display the flag, don't think of it as a symbol of hate. It's got a kind of don't tread on me feel. A remembrance of old times, not about slavery specifically. Hope that helps. I'm literally related to General Lee and don't fly a flag. Nobody in our family does. We have crazy old flags and other memorable items but they are all locked up. Imagine if people in Germany displayed the Nazi flag because they considered it to be part of their cultural heritage as opposed to a symbol of racism and hatred. I had a neighbor fly his pair of big Confederate flags specifically on Juneteenth. Two guesses what his reasons were his racist AF. I'm from the South. My daddy's from the South. My daddy's daddy is from the South. All three of us was from the South. For the same reason I had an anarchy flag on my wall when I was 15 an immature desire to show rebellion against a perceived government oppressor. The difference is that most moody teenagers grow up. I don't fly the flag, but I am from the south and grew up in a conservative area, so I understand the perspective. Many people in the south are extremely distrustful of government in general, particularly the federal government. For them, the confederate flag is a symbol of rebellion and defiance towards the government. It's a veiled threat if you push us far enough we'll leave again, and this time you won't win. In my experience, slavery and racism have very little to do with why people fly the confederate flag. Doesn't mean it's right though. Peeps here in Michigan fly them have asked a few as to why and they said, it's to recognize our family's southern heritage. I walked away with no spite, due to the fact that they have rifles mounted on their trucks. None of my business, sir flushed face. I guess what it comes down to is that you can't tell people what symbols mean to them. To me that flag means slavery, to others it means a spirit of rebellion, but outside of arbitrary meanings we assign to it it's just a piece of fabric with colors and shapes on it. Lifelong southerner here, 20 years ago, some people flew the rebel flag with no malice or racism. It was just. I like the south. Today? Everyone knows better. Everyone. So if you see a rebel flag, that person is racist. Plain and simple. There is the odd one off here and there, where a black person will fly one. I have no explanation for that. You're asking on Reddit. You won't find nuance here when it comes to this question. Because swingers already took pineapples, so how else are you supposed to signal you're into your cousins? Why can't I sort the comments by controversial? They'll tell you it's because they are unhappy with the current government, but the truth is racism. What's funny is the number of Confederate flags flying in northern states like Michigan. I'm in the South, the most common answer is it's about heritage not hate and they cannot be reasoned with. At all. Reddit's so gay lol. I live in the South, and most of what people are saying here is true a lot of ignorance about the actual Confederacy and a faux sense of tradition or anti-government stuff. But to me, the Gadsden flag has always been a better symbol. It lacks the racial connotation and still gets the point across. Plus it looks cool AF. Probably lonely and envious people who craves attention in wrong places. Racists. White trash. Both. It's really hard to be a Dukes of Hazard fan these days. For many people it's a symbol of opposition to being told what to do. I know many who claim it's in opposition to big government and pro-state rights. Some the it closely to southern tradition. The flag represents old-fashioned family values. You can make flags represent things they weren't intended to represent. Other people fly it to invoke liberal tears and others because they believe that white people are the supreme race and want slavery reinstated.